five brothers and sisters in Christ. This is going to be a very important video, so I encourage you guys, please watch till the end. But before I talk to you about the topic of this video, I want to encourage you, if you're not a Christian, please look in the comment section of this video, because in the comment section, I have a long comment that has evidence for Christianity. And please, if you are a Christian, please spread that comment. You can print it out and give it to people, or you can post it on social media. Now, getting on to the topic of this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the unpardonable sin. And as you may already know, the unpardonable sin is when a person like equates a miracle of God with the devil. And I've come across people that I think they've committed the unpardonable sin, and I'm going to be talking to you about that. As you guys may know, God has performed many miracles for me, and He even revealed Himself to me. And I shared what he revealed to me on my channel. For example, the revelation where God revealed himself to me. And I saw Jesus Christ. And then he gave me a message of love, right? In the description box of this video, I have a link to those testimonies. So please check that out if you haven't seen them already. I know some of you have um, already seen them. And some many of you have left wonderful comments. So I thank you for that. But they're just some Christians where they, when they come across those testimonies, when I tell them, look, God revealed himself to me and he gave me a message of love. Some Christians say, oh, that was from the devil. And when you say that, when you speak against the miracle of God like that, that is the unpardonable sin. And the Pharisees were guilty of committing that sin because Jesus Christ was performing great miracles. And the Pharisees says, said something like that. Oh, he performs these miracles by the power of the devil and when you say that do you know what you're saying and i know not all of you are guilty of this there's actually very few like the percentage of people that have committed this sin is is probably like very small compared to the percentage that haven't but the people that just attribute miracles of god with the devil do you know how serious that is in god's eyes that is the unpardonable sin and I tell you this because there are some Christians or so-called Christians. And I don't say this to bad badmouth anyone. I'm not going to reveal any names because I don't want to put anyone's image down. I want to say this to warn you guys. So you guys don't make the same mistakes as some people do. And you guys don't commit the unpardonable sin. And they're just some Christians when they hear the, the testimony when I said that God revealed himself to me. And he gave me a message of love. God did this. God did that. All glory be to God. And they say, oh, that's from the devil. Please, don't just be so quick to attribute everything from the devil. I see this a lot a lot nowadays where Christians, like, they believe and they believe in miracles. But when a miracle happens, they don't want to believe that's from God. They're, they don't have enough faith to be, believe that's from God. But the ironic thing is, some of them have enough faith to believe that's from the devil. I'm like, are you, you got to be kidding me, man. I just told you God gave me a message of love and you're going to say that's a satanic delusion? You got to be kidding me. So please be very careful with that. Think twice before you speak against Christians. Think twice before you speak against churches. Think twice before you speak against ministries. And think twice before you speak against testimonies of miracles. And sometimes I just feel bad because, um, like, let's say in one of my videos, I upload a video and someone says, oh, that's from the devil. And then that person ends up committing the unpardonable sin. And then I feel bad because I think to myself, well, if I never uploaded this video, this person would have would have never said this uh, that was from the devil. If they if they never said that was from the devil, they wouldn't commit the unpardonable sin. So I, now I feel like their blood is on my hands. So please be very careful with your tongue. Pray about the matter. Don't just be so quick to say everything is from the devil. People nowadays... For some reason, even Christians, they they want to, they give the devil so much credit. They give the devil glory. I'm like, why would you say when someone says God has revealed himself to that person, why would you say that's from the devil? I mean, why in the world would the devil reveal himself to someone as Jesus? Do you know if someone sees Jesus, their faith is going to grow. They're going to tell people about Jesus and others will be brought to Jesus. Why in the world would the devil want others to be brought to Jesus? Why in the world would the devil give someone a message of love? Why in the world would, would the devil give someone a message of repentance? Some of you watching this video may have committed the unpardonable sin. I don't know. So I encourage you guys 
to pray about the matter and and next time be very careful. Don't just don't just attribute everything to the devil. Truly and God has been performing miracles since the beginning of time and God has performed miracles in my life and I'm thankful for that. All glory be to God. I want no credit, I want no glory, I'm a nobody, I'm just a servant of God, and God is great. So take this as a warning, and, so, and, and on a different like note, some Christians, when they tell the, th when you tell them about like, like the supernatural stuff, like revelation, and, uh, and like dreams and visions God gave you, and, and some Christians don't even believe, and it just breaks your heart that, like you have this zeal for God and you want to tell people, look how great God is. He has, he's shown me this, he's shown me that, and he can show you those things too. You just have to seek him. You have to ask for it. Pray about the matter. And when you tell them things like that, they just don't believe. And that, and, uh, and that just breaks my heart if you ask me, because I mean, why wouldn't you believe if, if someone is like saying it from their heart, if you know that what they're saying is true, why wouldn't you believe, you know? So this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Thank you for listening. All glory to God and God bless.